After the child was born, wise men journeyed from the east to find the one whose birth was made known by the rising of a star in the sky. Where is this king of the Jews, they asked, for we have come to worship him. King Herod was the ruler at the time, and when he learned of their search for another king, he was deeply troubled, along with all of his kingdom. He summoned the wise men, wanting to know exactly when the star first appeared. Then he sent them off to find the child king. And so the wise men continued on their journey, following the star in the sky, until it came to rest above the home of Mary and Joseph. They were filled with joy when they saw the star hover above this home, this place where hope laid his head. When they entered, they found him there with his mother, and they gave him the treasures that they had brought with them, and soon discovered this child, Emmanuel, was the greatest treasure of all. Overcome with awe, the wise men fell to their knees and worshiped the Messiah. And so this story of the birth of the Messiah concludes exactly as it should, with awe-inspired worship of the one who is worthy of all glory and honor and praise. And even now, 2,000 years later, we continue to fall to our knees in awe of this child, in awe of his faithful love and extravagant grace. The Son of God came to earth as a baby boy and left the earth as a risen Savior. He is victorious, He is powerful, and He is hope fulfilled. This is the story of Jesus, and we worship Him.